WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. market update. Let's see where we ended up today. The E-mini is up about 0.79%, which was a nice little change. Uh, same with the NQs as well. Um, closing about, well, closing about uh, 18589 This YM up currently at 1.46%. Uh, silver still off about 3.17% uh, that copper at 461. Now, I still believe that over this, the rest of this decade, that copper is going to be the move, okay? It is going to be used everywhere. High inflation is preventing mines from being open. There's not just like a bunch of copper laying around. And uh, as we continue to digitalize on everything um, from, from cars to these massive AI plants, copper will continue to be needed. Um, I think we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off as well. Uh, it was on decent volume. We're getting a pullback essentially, right? So we'll see if we can test it and get back up to that $5 area at least. Um, talking about crude oil at 77.17. Next month, uh, we have the OPEC report coming out, which um, I'm sure at some point I will fill in. And uh, man, we are definitely going to tear into that because it is always interesting uh, to read what they have to say. Uh, of course, you have the bonds uh, actually finishing up, so kind of to the lower rate side, but still. Um, I, I think we're going to be in a higher interest rate structure for a while here. Tesla at 178. They had to recall something like 125,000 cars uh, for some seatbelt uh, malfunctions. Steel Dynamics doing nothing. We're back in a consolidation period um, with this stock. It remains to be seen what goes on. I'm going to take a little dive uh, into the steel industry as it is currently uh, for Monday to see if we can get a better idea of where steel dynamics could be headed. DXY trading at 104.60. So this is nice. We tested that 105 area and came back down. So this is kind of setting up uh, for a lower trading range in the dollar, which we would love to see because that uh, makes our equities a little bit more positive. Now, uh, I have this article. If you want it, you can text me on Discord or send me an email at Jacob at TFNN, but it's from the Wall Street Journal, and this is really interesting, right? So first things first, uh, China is dumping a ton of money um, into chips, okay, which is massive, and this is a way to kind of compete against the U.S., and then this is $47.5 billion for chips, whoa. The Wall Street Journal released an article called How America Invertedly Created the Axis of Evasion Led by China. This is super interesting. Email me if you want it. Folks, have a great weekend. We will see you Monday.